Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to create movement using CSS animation. As you can see, they've already got a box here. Uh, when the element has a specified position, such as fixed or relative, the CSS offset property, left, uh, right, top, and bottom, can be used in animation rules to create movement. As shown in the example below, you can push the item downward and upward by setting the top property of 50% keyframe to 50 pixels. But having it's set to zero pixels for the first zero percent and the last 100 percent keyframe. Okay, so what does that mean? At keyframes, the we have the variable name rainbow, and then at zero, the background color is blue, and it's uh, it has zero pixels distance from the top. At fit and at 50 percent, it goes to green, and it's 50 pixels away from the top. And then at 100 percent, the background color is yellow, and it's uh, z uh, zero pixels. So it goes blue, it goes blue, and then it goes slides down, it's green, and then it slides back up, and it's yellow. That's what this code here does. So we want to add a horizontal motion to the div animation using left offset property. Um, add to the keyframes rule so that the rainbow starts at zero pixels um, and when it's, while it's at zero percent and it moves to 25 pixels at 50 percent and then it ends at negative 25 pixels at 100 percent. So that means it's going to go down and then back up I think. Don't replace the top property in the editor. The animation should have both vertical and horizontal motion. Okay, so how does that basically, essentially what we're going to do is first we're going to set um, at 0% the keyframes. Um, it should use a left offset of 0 pixels. So we're going to go left 0 pixels. And then here, as you can see, it should be sort of going to the left a little. It's hard to tell because it's, uh, oh, maybe because we're only going 0 pixels. So it's, this is actually just on the way back, have it return to its original place. And so for here, we're going to change the left offset to be 25 pixels. And so this is going to give it, that's the significant one. Now we can see that it goes 25. But you see how it has a little jot going back? So we want to change this and set this so that it is left at negative 25 pixels. And so now it should um, slide up and then slide back to its original place, or a little bit beyond its original place. And if we run the tests, it should pass. Great. Hope you guys enjoyed that video and we'll see you in the next video.